I always take photographs of the shade of the gum, okay? And this is really important because this is what's gonna make this denture look very natural. Without this, you're gonna get a denture like you can get a cheap denture anywhere else. This is where I come to Luke, okay? Nice. Now we have, we actually made some adjustments, right? Because last time we checked her upper try-in and we moved the teeth up, what, two millimeters? All right, right? And then now we have the correct shade, right? Because mm -hmm. the other day, all we did, we just wanted to know the placement where it was. Correct. We had, we had a bleach shade the other we day, ordered, but now Yeah, we ordered one. the Ivo Claw. Yes. Dental teeth, which is, I don't have. So they sent me the overnight. So we got the A1 base color. So we add together. Beautiful setup, okay? Yeah. So there are two things that we're gonna do today. We're gonna try this in today, all right? This is just like as if she was in my office. We would try this in. But another thing that's very important that we do, I always, 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 always customize my gum tissue color. Mm -hmm. Always, that's why people come from very, very far places to come see me, from ours or other states to come see me because I will actually give them a custom gum shade. Okay, and I always communicate the characterizations with Luke. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now, as you can see, look at her gum shade. It's a little light, right? It's nice and healthy, but it's a little light. So it's definitely not the pink or the red that you see usually in some dentures that are made. So that's something that's very important, okay? So now, so now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have a good bite, good occlusion so that when they fabricate it, when I send it in for final, it'll actually fit her nicely. Yes. And I take a look at the incisal edges that, they're, that they match. I come up from the position on top to make sure that the midline is correct with the facial midline. And I have you bite down gently, close, 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 all the way. And then I allow her upper lip to relax, lower lip to relax. She can close just fine. And then smile, there we go, beautiful. And then I also take a look at it from the side. So come in from the side, this way. You stay straight. And what I wanna make sure is that these teeth are not protruding out too much and that they look natural, okay? So these are the things that we look for at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and just check her bite and then to, to make sure that everything is within occlusion before I send it in to loop to fabricate. And the other thing that I'm going to do that's very important to me. Luke, where's the shade guide? Here. Right there. So what we'll do is we always want to, I always take photographs of the shade of the gum, okay? And this is really important because this is what's gonna make this denture look very natural. Without this, you're gonna get a denture like you can get a cheap denture anywhere else. This is why I come to Luke, okay? Nice. This is the guide that I use. I use a share site guide, brand new guide, okay? And what I do is I go all the way to the back and Luke has made me different shades here, okay? You can start at ST1 all the way to ST9, see? So what we do now is we'll actually, in my office, what I'll do is I'll grab this and I'll grab my camera and I'll have you open. We're gonna remove this and I'll go through and very carefully open big go through each one of these, can you see that there? And compare them, and I'll take pictures. If it's in between two of them, I'll take pictures of both. And then I'll send that in with my case. I email my case, and when I get it back, I get beautiful, beautiful dentures. Try this. See? That was good. And that's good. In between. In between ST3. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice category. The pictures, then he can zoom in with the pictures. And he can um, make sure that the gum tissue is perfect. Perfect. Okay. This is how I set it up. Oh, zoom out a little bit right there. Can you get it? Yeah. Zoom out a little bit more. This is how I set it up. And then I'll go ahead and run the first palette like this. 
and compare it. You're catching that? Then I'll switch over and run it like this and compare it. And then I'll come back to the last one, switch over and compare it. So it says there, that's pretty close right there. ST8, ST9. See? So that's where I'll take a picture and I'll let Luke know that that's the gum shade we want. See? So that's a nice A1. Go ahead, smile. There we go. Uh -huh. Coming from above so that you're right, right parallel with her. That's what you want to see. You want to see parallel. And from the sides, look. And then you can see, uh, hold on, so you can see the face just like this. Give the line, a good things. Okay. And you can see that it also follows her smile right there. Look at that. It follows all the way in. Very nice. The teeth are not protruding out. They, they're, they're nice and harmonious. See that? Cool. Okay. Side view, like you said. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. So, what patient said, here is the, here is the, the sticking out, right? Yes. Probably here too. Yeah. So, here, here a little, little bit. A little bit. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah. So, I can grind it because of the... There's no room. No room. So, we're going to show you how I grind it from here. You see? Not a lot. Now we can clean it, then we can try it. Uh, the, not only facial problem, the lack of room, we have to make the metal mesh. So I need a room. Okay? So that's why we're trying to do it. That then you can put into the piece as well. Look from the outside. See that? Mm -hmm. It's adjusted there and adjusted there now. Okay? That's so fast. The inside was so thick, mm -hmm. so we have a limited. So I cannot bring more. Otherwise, you got denture pop that. Okay, like that. I don't want that. Take a look with the mirror, and you're going to see it's less bulky. It's less. See? It's yeah, the inside. Just a little bit right there, right? Mm -hmm. Where? Center tooth, right here. You talking about here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Here? Mm -hmm. No, I'm asking you. Yeah. Okay. How about the other one? Um, 
illusion here. Now we don't recommend it. Otherwise, you will dent your dentures are broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot make flat. Okay. Maybe here, you mean? Can you see? Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. Let me grind it one more time. I'll be right there. So now, now he took it down. Remember? Beautiful. Ready? So now we made the adjustments. Right down all the way. And now he took it down. Take take a look at the mirror. Much less. It looks better. Much better, right? Mm -hmm. She likes it. Good. She likes it. Very nice. Thank you. Just a little bit of fine uh, detail tuning. After process, very tiny. We made a little trim here, it's totally great. K9 is flat, which is patient's ones. Yes, I'm going to make a little bit, little bit of a groove here. Otherwise, it's nice aesthetics. So it's a little bit more special. see both sides better, right? <laughs> so here, move it. I really like this, right? And then I like this here, flat, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Set, here's yeah. flat. Uh -huh. And do you remember here? Uh -huh. Flat. Good. Nice, right? So this is the Howard bike block. And then we try in usually, put it into the patient. That's what we're trying to create it, about the two T's from the central. Right? I'm oh, sorry. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Thank you. Put it very tight. Okay, open. So we're trying to set up like this. This is the the 101, the dental mm -hmm. setup from the tools, okay? This is dental setting. Take the shot. Go ahead. Nice. Take a picture too. Nice. That's yours. 
You have to know how to how to. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's yours. You're going to use to it. Beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. How was this? I trim it. Yeah, Better? Good. <laughs> I have to see a little bit, you know, 10, 20 minutes and then just make sure everything to feel comfortable. Anyway, it's Dr. Emilio Carrillo Chicago patient. Mm -hmm. He let me do cut it, so which is I, I just cut a little bit trimmer there. So, uh, have her just relax and then have her see. Mm -hmm. And then anything so I can take care of my hand. And then I can give it to her from, you know, no teeth. So we set up, we call it, you know, signature dentures. We made the special metal mesh. You saw my video, we already uploaded. And then we set the teeth, make the nice natural as possible. And then she has a lot of bone, and then she checked the occlusion, we grinding occlusion as well. So thanks for watching us my video. So I can show later about the final testimony. Appreciate it. So I trim here as a borderline, which she says a little bit bothering. Yeah. Sometimes if I grind too much, I lose the suction. Oh, okay. So you need the retention. So about the gum and the dentures has some retention, so we're not falling down. So when you go to dating with someone, this denture is not drop off. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so funny if you drop. <laughs> They're going to shock to you. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Unless they love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so at this moment, I can leave it as it is. Yeah. Because you have to see the Dr. Emilio Carrillo. Yes. Yes. So he will going to do something. He's a dentist. Mm -hmm. I'm a lab cat. <laughs> but beautiful, right? Thank you so much, Luke. No, um, anyway, so that's I, cool. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I look forward to uh, chewing my food. <laughs> nice. But used to be this one is the, we, we require three weeks. I'm very excited. Three weeks, but we made the full freaking day. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> we made the metal mesh, everything super much. Everybody trying to kill me. I'm excited. That's good. Yeah. So now take it in, take it down. So I like the good suction, right? In the future, you're going to lose suction because gone changing. Mm -hmm. Then we call it relying. It's not expensive, so lever click on relying it, then you can get better suction. Okay. So you're not drop down. So <laughs> when will be the... I don't know, so it depends on the patient condition. Oh. Yeah, some people is about for long. Mm -hmm. Some people has an illness and then they need sometimes change the gone too. But relying, we call it dental relying, is very popular. Everybody can do it. It's very easy to do it. And uh, it's not expensive, those kinds of things. Okay. So, but what I'm, see, what I'm seeing, the aesthetic, so we changed the her you know, design and life, especially gum color from the inside. And then, because remember, so my, my tissue is not that much room. So we see the little inside from gum color, trying to match it up the lower. And then when you see the side view, it looks like her teeth, just like bone that way when she was young. I'm trying to set up the, her age about 25, 24. Better than that, actually. When you show me that picture, yeah. this one will, will be much better, <laughs> except removable, yeah. right? So they were going to go to uh, implant when she's ready. But besides that, that was a really good success for her adventure cases. Appreciate it, boy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks for I'm so happy and excited. Good part. Thanks for being about our part of uh, the video, which is very time consuming. Appreciate it. So like I said, thank you. Say very big thank you. Thank you. Uh,